Guys, welcome to Parental Guidance. <laughs> this trick is probably not the ideal trick to do at a wedding or probably a corporate event. B U double L S H I C. So they've all got letters all over everywhere. It's probably, it's probably not a, a good idea to do the trick at any point in your act. <laughs> So, this is what happens. Firstly, you have a freely chosen card. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. No, it is a free, well, it is a free, is it a freely chosen, it is a freely chosen card, isn't it? It is a freely chosen card. I know what you want. Take your time, think about it. Which one do you fancy? I don't want to take it on a date, right? But which one do you want We're going to mix it in, look, there you go on the top. Yeah. There so far. Yeah. Give the cards a few more. Okay. And I give the cards a cut. Now, you're probably thinking, how does the magician find the card? Basically, the secret is, is that all the cards are marked, right? And you mark it with a special pen. It's like almost like a watermark. I don't think you'd be able to see it in this light. But that's basically got like a B on there. You know, like a B for Bertie. Yeah, yeah. That one's got like, um, uh, that's got a U on it. That's got like a double L. But that's B, U, double L, S, H, I, C. <laughs> so they've all got letters all over everywhere. <laughs> see, yours, believe it or not, actually had like an F on it. You know, F for Freddy? Did you see the F on the back of the card? No. No, that's really weird because it is the only F in blue one. I don't know how you didn't actually see the F card. That's really surprising because it's the only F in blue one, which I don't know how you didn't actually see the, the F card. <laughs> yeah, how about the cards? Why did you pick the Ten of Hearts? I mean, you could have had any card. Why did you pick the Ten of Hearts? <laughs> you turn it over, it's their card. That goes on the table, all right? You say, look, I'll prove it. I'll do it again. It's, it's like the card. Right? Any You'll card. And it's a freely chosen card. Actually, it's not a freely chosen card, but it looks like a freely chosen card. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Ron, is that fair? You happy with that? Yeah. Just keep seeing the card yourself. I say it, just keep seeing the ace of spades, the ace of spades, the ace of spades. Just keep seeing the ace of spades. Every time, it's always like a blue one. I don't know. What, I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know. What. No way. It's weird, isn't it? No way. No, no chance. No, it's not. Every time, I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works, but every single time, it's the ace of spades. A miracle, but you do it a third time. You say, put your hand on top, take any card. They look at it, it gets lost. They turn over the F card, and it's not. It's still the same card. But yeah, but you just read that below, and it says, look under my drink. My drink that I've had the whole time, the card is underneath there. Whoa! They look at it, they look at it. There he goes crazy. I look like a god. Or if you're walking around, it doesn't have to say, you know, look under my drink they could turn it over and it says look under your watch because they turn the wrist over and it's under their watch and you also get another gimmick card saying look under your box or, my box look under my, not their box they don't, why would they have a box but it says look under my box you lift the box and there's a card you see you get three gimmick cards look under my box look under uh, my drink and look under your watch Three gimmick cards, specially printed. No way. Awesome. Nice. Thank you very much, guys. Brilliant. Did I leave anything out? Instructional video, gimmick cards. That's it, innit? 